do you find life satisfying? You see, there are three questions that you could ask yourself right now that could literally change the way you view life completely. Overnight, these simple three questions that nobody asks. If you ever have felt like you are living life and life isn't satisfying, that life isn't good, you don't feel happy, then you need to ask yourself these questions. The importance of your focus. Oh. First things first, how are you? I hope you've been good and I hope things have been alright. Now the first question I want you to ask yourself, what is your focus? What is the thing that you are currently focusing on right now? And it could be anything. It could be to the fact that you are all your toes are slightly touching each other. To the fact that you can feel your clothes slightly touching your skin right now. Your focus could be anything from big goals to that tiny little pebble you kicked. So what is it you're focused on? You see, what we focus on, what we choose to focus on in situations can profoundly affect how we feel in those situations. For example, if you're going to the gym and some guy gives you advice, a bigger guy gives you advice on your form, after you might be feeling quite self-conscious, like you shouldn't be there, you might feel quite embarrassed if that's what you're focusing on. However, if you then focus on the positives, this guy's given me some good advice, I'm gonna focus on the positive, the advice he's given me, and I'm gonna improve so I can get up to his level. Instead of feeling self-conscious, you can see how what you focus on can affect how you feel. But the thing is, 95% of people focus on the thing that is missing. They focus on that thing that they wish to aspire. It's why you hear people say like, oh, money doesn't buy you happiness. There's all these millionaires and they're all so depressed. And that's because they're thinking, they're focusing on the thing that is missing. The thing that they don't have, the thing they want to have. For example, you. Say you had all the money in the world, right? But you had a terrible physique. You are skinny, scrawny, or maybe obese, fat. You aren't attractive. You haven't got a social life. You haven't got a relationship. You have all the money in the world, but you're focused on what you don't have, the thing you're missing. So by changing your focus, by being in that top 5%, whereas you're not part of that 95% that everyone's focusing on the thing that's missing, you can focus on the thing that's present. And just by doing this simple act can change how you view your life drastically and can improve your life. You start focusing on the things you can control, the things that are present. So instead of thinking, oh man, my physique is terrible. I've got this money, but my physique is awful. You focus instead. You know what? I'm focusing on my body. This is what I have right now. And what is present, what I can see, is the gym down my road. And I'm going to go in. The second question is, what does this mean? You see, we align meanings to situations in our life those events that we focus on. You see, if you think about it, the end of a relationship, how you feel, will be completely different to the beginning of that relationship, right? Yes or no? No, obviously. Wait, no, that's not right. Yes, I meant yes, <laughs> no, no. Yes, of course, your feelings are gonna be changed, they're gonna be different, but then what does it mean? The end of a relationship, you're focused on the bad. This this is a punishment, I things didn't go well, it's all my fault. I will never find love again. I'm going to go on my lone wolf phase. But does it really mean that? Is that what this really means? Is that focus really what you should be focusing on? Or instead, should you be focusing on the fact that it's the end of the relationship? Yeah, but it can also be the opening of a new one. With friends, with family, with new people. And the third question, what am I going to do? What are you going to do about this? What are you going to do about the fact that the way you focus can change the way you think. Your satisfaction out of life. What are you going to do? You see, studies have shown, have proven that focusing on the things that you can control right now leads to much greater life satisfaction, helps maintain great mental health. So what are the things that you can focus on right now? The things that are present, the things in your life that you want to change their meaning. It could be going to the gym, improving your physical looks. It could be reading more books. You know what, I'm going to focus on this book that I bought. The psychology behind business, how to make a business. I've been putting it off for so long. I'm going to focus on it. You know what, I've been meaning to buy all this healthier food, non-processed stuff. I've been meaning to cook my own meals. Why not? What are you going to do about the things that you can now see? The things that you're focusing on? 
rather than the missing things, the things you can see now. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to change? After this video, are you going to just scroll more? Click on another YouTube video, another self-improvement video, or maybe something else, an entertainment video. Or are you going to go off the app just to go on social media, to go on Instagram and scroll through reels? What do you want to do? You know what? As a start, after this video, turn off your phone. Leave your phone in your house and I say go for a walk. Just a 10 minute walk. It's not a lot, but it makes a difference. Focus on the positive, on the things you can change now, rather than that missing thing that you always want to have. Focus on actually what you can do now to achieve that, to achieve that dream you. I hope you've been good. I hope things have been all right, and I, I just hope things have been good, man. And if you like me, and you want more content from me, and you want personalized stuff, and more to, just to simply support me, keep an eye out, because within the next few weeks, I will be creating a community on the website known as School. On there, you can ask for specific videos. There'll be a community where you can ask other people for their experiences. And if you just simply want more content from me, that will be a, a platform you can go to. I haven't set it up yet, but I will be setting it up within the next few weeks. So keep an eye out. For now though, I would be very appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner. Because this video could help you out. Stay consistent and do the best you can. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. You know what time it is. Oh yeah, come here. Some rubber gets. Mwah.